Senator Humphrey, what's your position on the current increased fighting in Vietnam? Well, I have said that the attacks on the American warships by North Vietnamese planes are the inevitable result of the unfortunate and dangerous re-escalation of the war. Uh, these developments show, to me at least, once again, the urgent need for the Nixon administration to bring this issue of the Vietnam War and the recent attacks to an emergency session of the United Nations Security Council. Now, that Security Council today includes the mainland China and the Soviet Union, two vital nations if there is to be any real peace in Southeast Asia. I believe that President Nixon has the duty to call for the convening of that emergency session and at once we must ask the United Nations to arrange an immediate ceasefire on all parts and to supervise the complete withdrawal of the United States forces in Vietnam with simultaneous release of the prisoners of war. And unless we act quickly and effectively, this war can and will escalate further at the expense of additional American lives, more prisoners of war, and great human suffering. If we fail to act, we may find ourselves and be more deeply involved in this war than ever before. involved in California is a very simple one. The question is, are we going to change the rules of the game after the game is over and the score is in? Now, what are the facts about California? Number one, every person in this country knew that when that election campaign began in California, that it was a winner-take-all primary. That was the California state law. They knew something other than that. They knew that the Democratic Reform Commission, which I had the privilege of chairing, the vice chairman being Senator Hughes of Iowa, debated the question of winner-take-all primaries two years ago. Both Senator Hughes and I were in favor of changing the winner-take-all primary system at that time, but we lost. All of this, 10 o'clock. Americans of every group in this land need a government that is compassionate, that cares, that understands the simple principles of economic and social justice, a government that will speak up for those that are less fortunate, a government that will weigh in on the side of those that are the needy, and a government that will have as its standard a full and rich opportunity for every one of its citizens. Now, I have given a lifetime, a lifetime of effort to this cause. No war. If, the, if I've got the figures right, this convention includes 458 black delegates and includes 370 black alternates. Now this is more than twice the number of blacks who were represented in the 1968 convention. Now this isn't our ultimate goal, but it represents the kind of progress we must continue to make, not only not only with respect to representation in a Democratic National Committee, but with respect to all institutions, governmental and otherwise, in this country. <laughs>